and this is sad, you know, and I'm just sharing this with you because, uh, you know, when things go wrong, they go wrong really fast. <laughs> What's up? This is Vic from Quick Cuts Premium Lawn Care here in Conyers, Georgia. So in a new development, we already had um, two clients. So we got now three. We got this property behind us. And then up here, we got two more that we're going to service. So I'm um, trying to beat the rain this morning. So I'm out cutting with the guys. So um, I'll just let you see me getting into work.
So fam, when you have a situation where you got a whole bunch of rocks, I don't like touching them now. I think we sprayed it to kill it, but in order to get this up, man, I think you're gonna have to pull it. Only bad part about it is it's all saturated throughout all the rocks. So that will take some time to do. So I always encourage you guys to learn from my mistakes and not weed eat the rocks. I might touch it slightly today. It all depends. Um, but uh, it don't look good. What's up fam? So I said in the beginning, what are some of the things that you never want to hear your client call you and say, it happened to me? Um, and this is sad, you know, and I'm just sharing this with you because, uh, you know, when things go wrong, they go wrong really fast and bad. So basically what happened was one of my guys didn't lock a gate, um, not at this property, but another property that we were servicing. And by not locking the gate, the client let their dog loose out in the back. And the dog um, went out. And what was said by the police that the dog um, attacked the little girl and the neighbor shot it. Now, I don't know if it's true or not, but my guy was honest enough to tell me what happened. And man, I was really disappointed about what happened because a lot of times we we take things for granted and the worst the worst thing that happened. You know, only thing could be worse than that if they'll let a you know a kid go out back and not watch them and they went out in the road. So uh what happened was if you don't have liability insurance, you need to get it. Because liability insurance is gonna cover me. I don't know how much for because this was a purebred Rockweiler. Um, our client does have the paper for it. Um, she allowed me to um, see it. Plus, I uh, spoke with the breeder. And just so you know, it was about 1850 dog plus. Um, they put a chip in them. And also, they uh, got all the shots. So that's a lot. It's a lot for a dog, but at the end of the day, you know, that's what they pay for it. Um, I'm going to wait to see what my my um, insurance say about it. I do know I have a deductible, and I'm pretty sure my deductible ain't a small deductible. If it's $1,000, that means I had to come out of pocket $1,000 to cover um, their loss. So what I'm doing right now is uh, I'm waiting for my insurance to get back with me, but I told her, that all the services until we get some form of um, confirmation from my insurance company that was gonna, we're gonna service her for free. She agreed to it. Uh, so fam, hopefully this will never happen to you. Hopefully you never experienced this, um, but it can happen. So from here on out, I told my guys, if they have a fence, it definitely needs to be locked. Um, I did give a consequence for it, you know, never want to terminate somebody for a mistake, but um, in, in all essence, man, you you do have to pay for your mistakes. That's what insurance is for, you know. So at the end of the day, you know, we're going to keep cutting on. And fam, please, if you don't have insurance, get it. And clients, customers, if you're watching this video, and you going basically on how much a person charged to cut your yard. Don't base your price merely on how affordable your lawn care is. Because a lot of people are out here cutting grass and they don't have any insurance. They don't have any liability. And you're going to be held holding the bag for, I guarantee you, if it was someone who didn't care about losing the client and moving on to the next yard, would have left her hanging with a loss of the, uh, the pet, which is like a family, and the sum of money it would cost to replace the pet. Because that ain't a small fee. I'll, it, it'll be really easy for somebody to walk away from the 1850, guaranteed. 
All right, so please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, give me a thumbs up if you um, believe that most people would have walked away if they didn't have insurance. Uh, tell me something that we can learn from you in the comment section that maybe your insurance covered you and thank goodness you was happy you had insurance. So cut on lawn care family, cut on. I'm cutting out. Peace.